Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nexus of Mail tutorial. In this tutorial I will explain to you how we can move the cube around using our mouse so that the cube will basically teleport to our mouse. First of all, why do we need mouse input? Well, mouse input, as you might know, is pretty important when it comes to using something like UI, so the user interface. So maybe starting the game or accessing the pausing menu, using a potion for instance. But what we're gonna do in this episode is simply just make it so our player moves to the position of the mouse. But what we can do is we can remove all of this code. We're not going to use any keyboard input, but what we're going to use is a function that's a little close to is key pressed. And actually, it functions almost the same. So we're going to have another if statement, but in here, we're not going to go SF keyboard, we're going to call SF mouse. And mouse doesn't have an is key pressed, it has an is button pressed function. And what this is button pressed function takes is an SF mouse button. So it's simply the same as is key pressed, but now what we want to know is if a mouse button is pressed. So in order to specify a mouse button, we simply type in SF mouse left since we want to for instance check for the left mouse button and then in here what we want to do is we want to set the position of the player to the mouse position in order to do that we first need to get the mouse position but how do we get the mouse position by calling sf mouse again sf mouse contains a whole lot of different information about the mouse just like sf keyboard contains a whole lot of different information about the keyboard so in sf mouse we have this function of get position. What this does, it returns the position of the mouse relative to the screen, not to the window. This is really important. You will take the screen's top left corner as 0, 0 instead of the window's top left corner as 0, 0. This means that if we just press somewhere in the window and set the cube's position to that, it will not be relative to the window, it will be relative to the top left corner. So let's say we have our window right here, so this is the top left corner, the if, and we press exactly there so what should be zero zero but it will not set the position of the cube to zero zero it will set the position of the cube to whatever this distance is from here till there so how do we fix that well we can give a window to the get position function and that will make it that the position will be relative to the window so that the top left corner of the window will be zero zero so what we just need to do is we need to pass in window and this function will return a vector to i so we need to create a vector to i in the front of it an SF vector 2i, uh, let's call it mouse position, so mouse pause, is equal to the get position function. So let's now set the position of the cube. So we call player, let's set position in order to set the position before we've only used the move function, and that will basically get the current position and then add a sort of movement to it. But we can also just set the position in general. And as you can see, we can pass a few different things into set position. One of the things is a vector 2f, and the other things are two floats. But as you might have noticed, is we have a vector 2i. That's not a vector 2f. That's true, because this contains integers, and a vector 2f contains floats. So what we need to do is we need to cast the integers to floats. There's one type of cast that I like to do, and it's called a c-style cast. That's when you use the soft brackets and type in whatever we want to cast it to. So in this case, float. And then after that, specify what you want to cast. So mousepass.x. And what this will do is it will convert the integer to a float, but it's technically not safe. So you shouldn't use this for classes, for instance. If you want to cast one class to another, you shouldn't use a C-style cast. You should use, say for instance, a static cast. The way that you do a static cast is you type in static cast. And you use a smaller than and bigger than to specify what you want to cast to. So in this case, a float. Then inside of the soft braces, you specify what you want to cast. So in this case, mouse pass that Y. So now you've seen two different types of casting. But as you can see, one of them is a lot shorter, but unsafe. And the other one is safe, but a lot longer. And this type of cast is actually safe. And what, what safe means is that it will not give you weird data corruption, for instance. But as you also can see, is that the safe casting is a lot longer than the unsafe casting. So that's why for floats and integers and booleans, for instance, I just use the C-style casting, since it's just a lot shorter. So I'm also going to use the C-style cast in here. So now if you run the program, you will see that if we press somewhere on the screen, it will place the cube there. But you might notice something weird. It will set the top left corner of the cube to the mouse position. But what if you want the middle of the cube to go to the mouse position? Well, in order to change that, we need to change the origin. And basically what the origin is, this is an offset from the top left corner. So if we have this cube, we know that the width is 100 and the height is 100. 
and we can set the origin at 50-50, so 50 pixels on the x-axis and 50 pixels on the y-axis to set it to the center. So basically what the origin does is it changes the center position of which we will do our calculations and drawing and such. So let's actually change that. And in order to change that, we need to go all the way up here, add a new line, type on there player.setOrigin. And in here, we can either specify a vector 2f or 2 floats. I'm just going to use the 2 floats and type in 50.0f and 50.0f. You can change it to whatever you want, but I want it to be in the center, so I'm using half of 100 and half of 100. So now if you press some on the screen, what you will see is we'll actually set the center of the cube to the position of the mouse. This is basically all I want to talk about in this episode today, and in the next episode, we're going to talk about textures. So see you in the next one.